for one fall, making his way to the ring from Saratoga Springs, New York, weighing in at 197 pounds, Bobby Fish. A member of the Undisputed Era. Man's got a, a tremendous resume, trained by the great Harley Race. All the natural talent in the world. And a mean streak as well. Rugged, gritty, world-traveled, universally feared. Bobby Fish knows more than enough ways to hurt anyone he steps in the ring with. And a proud enforcer of the Undisputed Era's mission statement to simply shock the system. The Bruiserweight! And his opponent, from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Pete Dunn! First on the scene with the likes of Tyler Bate, who was the first ever United Kingdom champion, and Trent Seven to form British strong style, but he's now moved up on his own and become one of the great young up and coming superstars in WWE today. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunn does. As intense and as dangerous as they come. Pete Dunn enjoys winning as much as he enjoys inflicting pain upon his opponents. You don't have to like Pete Dunn, but he will demand that you remember his name. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Oh, man, what a boot. WWE made history in 2017 with a tournament looking for all the glory here. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Not yet. Oh, that's the impact. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment and it cost him. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. I'd agree with what Michael was saying about Pete Dunne's performance in the UK Championship Tournament. If you didn't know him heading in, you sure as heck knew who he was coming out. I'll tell you one person who definitely knew who Pete Dunne was after coming out, and that's William Regal. Regal was absolutely irate after Dunne launched a pre-match attack on his second round opponent. Here he goes, the flying fish hook. No doubt about that one. Oh, man, Dunn is in trouble now. Oh, look, Bobby Fish is in position. Uh -oh. you got to believe this one's over. Is that it? Is it over? He's making a statement here with this attack. Yet another counter. It's like that.
they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Axe Black man! I'm not sure how much he has left. And a kick out. I think Bobby Fish's tenacity here is coming from his days training under Harley Race. He's not going to like this. We've arrived. It's about time for the bitter end. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. The damage sustained by Dunn. He could be on his way out. There may be no cut. He's looking at it. Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. What a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put themselves through. The intensity of this has been incredible. And the instinct from Fish on display. So quick. No, he releases the hold. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? And the instinct from Fish on his play. So quick. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I've got the shoulders down. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And the kick out by Fish. How did he do that? When this guy's on, look out. Axe Black's man! That might just be the final nail in the coffin. And he got a near fall out of it. Not yet. This could be it. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? Look at this. And the instinct from Fish on display. So quick. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Man, what a slam. Whoa, he lets him out. What a fool. He had him dead to rights. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Beautiful technique. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. And the instinct from Fish on display. So quick. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh boy, he is rolling. Should do it. Penny predicament. Two, three. There's the pinfall and the victory. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Man, oh man, look at that. Yeah, he's putting in the work.
This was another great moment. And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner, Pete Dunn. There's plenty of reason for celebration tonight. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando.